What is going on everybody? I hope you guys are having a good day. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the 7 Warrior Gaming Desk 60 inch T-shaped computer desk with full desk mouse pad ergonomic eSports style gamer desk racing with double headphone hook USB gaming rack cup holder desk. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright you guys, so before we get started with this video, I just want to let you guys know that I have never had a streaming setup. I don't even really have the YouTube video creation center that I would like to make. And that's basically the reason that I'm making these videos. I'm picking up stuff and just want to go ahead and talk about it. Now you guys should know that this is not an affiliate based thing or anything like that. Um, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I don't make anything off of these videos. I just want to show you guys what I'm picking up. So again, this is the 7 Warrior Gaming Desk. It's 60 inches long, which is great because I'm finally gonna have the triple monitor setup that I want. Two of the monitors will be for the computer and comments for streams and stuff like that. And then I'm also gonna have a 4K uh, screen so I can go ahead and game my consoles on. So uh, I guess we can go ahead and start off with the packaging. The packaging was actually a lot smaller than I would have thought for a desk. I've gotten a couple of desks in the past and they are these big, heavy things. This was actually about half the size that I would have expected and it was still pretty heavy. But um, the reason that it's so small is because the actual top of your desk, your desktop, is two squares that you brace together instead of one long rectangle. So I appreciate the way it was packaged. It actually came very organized. Uh, you had everything that you needed. Obviously, you had the desktop, you had your legs, a couple of braces, and all the screws and tools that you would need. Now, the main tool that you're going to be using with this desk to put it together is an Allen wrench. So everything screws on very easily. The instructions were very clear. There were no words to get confused with because words can be hard. But instead, what they had was very detailed illustrations showing you guys how to put the, the desk together. So I very much appreciated that. And this was probably one of the easiest desks to go ahead and put together. It probably took me about 15 to 20 minutes on my own to go ahead and brace everything up, put the legs on and flip the thing over. Now, the thing that I really like about this desk on its own is the top of it. I like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. It kind of has a fiberglass look and feel to it, um, which I can appreciate. Obviously, that's not what it's made out of. It is all particle board on the top, um, although you don't really see it because of the texture that they've added to it. And uh, the only place you really do see it is where the, uh, uh, the grommet holes are on the top of the desk. But after you put in uh, your inserts, you really won't see any of it and it's got a really nice look to it. After I flipped it over onto its feet, it was perfectly balanced, which is something that I've not had with other desks before. I really appreciated that. Um, it was very easy to put together, like I said, and whenever you move it, it's actually very light considering what it's made out of. Now, yes, the very top is particle board, but the legs are a steel hollow construction, so they are heavy duty but they're not heavy so it it's it's just a real easy thing to go ahead and decide where you want your desk and simply pick it up and go ahead and try to move it wherever it is that you want now some of the issues that i had with this desk is number one uh again i put this desk together just flipped it onto its feet and immediately had fingerprints and handprints over it now if that's going to be an issue for you guys you're going to want to keep a fiber cloth or something to try to wipe it down this is going to be an issue for me but the good thing about this is that the desk actually does come with a full desk size mouse pad which is really great um you guys can actually see that here i don't like the branding on it again sorry seven warrior i don't know if you're a popular brand or not i just kind of picked this desk based on some of the features that it's got but uh it does have the branding on it over on the left side of the mouse pad again it's the entire desk uh it does have a dragon design which is totally fine i could have done without it now if you guys know me and you know anything about my channel if it would have had a skull on there of some sort some sort of skull design i would have been going ape shit over it but i mean this is totally fine it works 100 percent on the mouse pad it feels good uh um, the stitching on it is actually really, really good, and it's just like a, like a mouse pad, except way fucking bigger. Aside from that, a few of the features that the desk has, um, 
And part of the reason why I chose it, even though it sounds dumb, uh, it has a small little cup holder on the side, which I really, really like. Uh, you can put your drinks in there. I've spilled drinks on desks before. I've spilled drinks on my keyboards before. And cleaning that stuff up can be a pain in the ass. So um, I, I do appreciate having a cup holder on the side of the desk. I put a little bit of pressure on it just to see if it was going to be flimsy or not. It does feel pretty sturdy, so you should be able to put whatever drinks you want in there. Over on the other side of the desk, over on the left side, uh, you have a dual headset mount that mounts under the desk, which is great because I have every single console. Uh, I'm for sure going to be using that for my Xbox headset and my PlayStation headset on one side or the other. Just thought that was a really nice feature. And uh, that's pretty much it. They also do have these really big Seven Warrior stickers that you can go ahead and put on the legs. But like I said, I really don't care about branding. I don't even know what Seven Warrior is. So I'm not going to be adding those to the legs. Um, those will probably just be gotten rid of, unfortunately. But overall, I mean, the desk is nice. It's five foot long. That should be plenty of room for the arm mounts that I'm going to get for my three monitor setup in the future. And uh, that's pretty much it. The other thing that I did want to mention, they did send us a uh, USB hub, which I would have appreciated if it wasn't also a game stand. So as you guys can see here, uh, I don't know, this is what it looks like. And uh, I have not bought physical games in a very, very long time. I've been doing everything digital, 100% digital on all of my platforms. So I don't really have a use for this, although I do think Jade said she wanted to go ahead and use it on her desk. So I'm probably going to give her that. But that does come included with the desk as well. Overall, the price of the desk, I'm not sure if it's a good price or not, to be honest. Uh, I paid $200 for it. It was $199.99 on Amazon. And again, it feels good. I like the look of it. It's got the mouse pad and a few small accessories that I like, but for the most part, it's a very clean desk. It's just a flat top, which does mean you can go ahead and mount your monitor mounts on it if you guys want to. And uh, I think this is gonna work out pretty good for us. So um, what I'm actually gonna do right now after this video posts is I'm going to disconnect my computer and everything and try to fix all the wires and stuff and get this desk where it needs to be. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and we will see you guys on the next video.